Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jay. This is my world. Come on in. You are welcomed in my world. Just don't take your shoes off. I don't, I don't want to smell feet. Not at all. Back with a book ramble. I know it's been a while since Jay's done a book ramble. You know, the basement flooding, work's been crazy. All that's starting to change. Um, you know, the basement's going to take a while. That's why I have this big uh, tapestry behind me here. So you can't see the mess, you know, work is work. It's, it's going to be there. I've been reading a lot. I've been getting caught up on a lot of reading. It's just hard finding time to, uh, you know, write the, the review and, and making these rambling videos, but you know, things are changing. Fall is around the corner and winter is around the corner. And that's when I have more time to do these things. And I had a few moments now, and I've been meaning to talk about this book. Ira Rat, Pacifier. It's a uh, collection of short stories. We actually had Ira on an episode of Paper Cuts a few weeks back. It's been a couple of weeks, right? Yeah. And well, I, at least we think we had Ira Rat on on the show. Someone showed up playing the part of Ira Rat. It, 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 we don't know. We think the right one showed up. The the real person showed up. Um, we may never know. But it was a good show. It was a good show. We talked about writing and the fact that he's running Filthy Loot now for, what, four years, four or five years, uh, and about the feel of the books that he releases through Filthy Loot. Um, there's a feel there. You know, I'm a big fan of Weird Punk books, and there's a feel for their books. Same goes for Filthy Loot. He actually sent me somewhat of a little care package uh, uh, of Filthy Loot books seven or eight and so far I, there's a feel to these filthy loot books i don't know how many times i'm going to say feel <laughs> until you get tired of it but there is um and you just know it when you're reading it uh, we talked about that a little bit uh during that episode of paper cuts so i'll put, try to put the link to the show up here somewhere and you can go back and check it out uh but we're going to talk about pacifier this is a short story collection trying to get it straight everything's reversed in the camera there um short story collection from ira rap four stories in this and let, they're bizarre they're odd you know i'm not gonna say they're bizarro i think they're a little bit far from bizarro but they're bizarre they're out there they're weird you know, and today's standards, that's totally fine. I, I'm down with it. I, I enjoyed them, you know. This has that feel I was talking about that goes along with Filthy Loot. Um, you know, for lack of better terms, these stories are fucked up. I'm not going to lie to you. These stories are, are, are pretty fucked up, you know. They're stories sprinkled with sarcasm and pessimism and cynicism and other isms you could throw in there you know uh, bits of irony chunks of gloominess and and just doom uh but i think you'll crack a smile every now and then because some of these are so weird you're just thinking where the hell did this dude get this stuff this information where did it come from? I mean, is his brain that messed up? Is his mind that sick? You know, it's possible. Or, or maybe you won't. Maybe you will feel at home with with these stories. Uh, it, it's short. It's a very quick read. Probably just one sitting, you know, unless your ADHD kicks in like me and you have to you do other stuff. That's, that's, just, that's just me. But it's possible to, you know, read all these all at once uh now don't, don't get me wrong it's not like these are like groundbreaking bizarre world stories um yeah it's not like these are first of their kind I, i've read weird things before a lot of weird things you know the, these aren't over the top weird so don't get scared off by me saying these are bizarre and these are weird and all that stuff don't get scared. Some people don't like that. Um, there's some horror elements mixed in. Not everyone is a slap to the face horror events. 
And some people don't really care for the bizarre stuff, the odd stuff, the weird stuff. These are not over the top. So so don't worry about that. If you're like, oh, you know, it's weird, Jay. I don't want to check it out. Well, you're weird for not checking it out. How you like that? I just lost a few subscribers for that, didn't I? <laughs> so here's the thing. Here's what sticks out with this collection. Oh, there are elements of art mixed throughout these stories. It's really the structure of the stories what shines to me. You know, the art of the structure of the stories. I think that's what takes center stage. That's what the, the spotlight is on with these. Because no matter how much doom and gloom you find taking place in these stories, there's this like underlying flicker of hope in each story trying to get out. It's like, hey guys, I'm down here. You got to dig for it. You got you got to look deep for it. You know, you might see just a hand waving up there. Hi, my name's Hope. Uh, you know, I'm down here. Just you got to You got to You got. This just got weird. How appropriate, right? Uh, for example, uh, what's the first one here? What's what's the, what's the first one? What's the what's the first one here? Last good day before goodbye. So, in this one, we have our main character who uh, whose fate is sealed. Like, he knows what's going to happen to him, all right? There's going to be an event that happens to him in this story, you know? And so he's spending his final days, his, his final day before this event with his female friends. Now, I mean, it, we don't know the, the actual whole relationship there. You kind of feel like maybe wife, maybe fiance, maybe girlfriend or ex-girlfriend. We don't know. It really doesn't matter. Uh, the glimmer of hope is, like, he knows his fate. He knows what's going to happen to him. But the little glimmer of hope is no matter what they're doing together, because it's supposed to be his final day, you know, every, they're doing everything that he wants to do, but he's also making sure she's comfortable, that she's okay with doing whatever they're doing, you know, asking for her input on what they should do. So... He knows his fate. She knows his fate. And it's going to, you know, his life's going to change. So they're spending this one final day together doing everything. It's, it's a little sad about it. It's almost like, you know, those those uh, videos or TikToks that make me cry when, you know, they're letting the dog do whatever he wants to do his final day before. We won't even talk. We won't. Stop. Cut. We won't even talk about those. We will no, not at all. No, no, stop it. Okay. So I mean, there you go. There, there's a little flicker of, of hope, you know, uh, of uh, finding beauty in, in a gloomy situation. You know, the the guy he knows what's going to happen to him. He wants to make sure that everything's cool with. His female friend, uh, you know, the the story Pacifier, which is the title story, it's probably the longest story in the collection, and it's the bloodiest. Uh, not exactly how you think, you know. We were talking about horror, and we talk about blood. You have this this ideal of the kind of blood. It, it, it's it's a little different, but uh, the the flicker of hope, the the little glimmer of hope in this one. There's a doctor who refuses to give up on, on a character who should be long gone. Who is, uh, there's some weird things about this character. And that's actually more of a, uh, an underlying storyline, like a secondary plot, you know, because there's some other things going on with, uh, with that story that, yeah, that's the one, if, you know, if you're not a big fan of blood or talking to blood or, you know, images of blood in your blood and lots of blood excuse me take it easy on that one okay <laughs> look these are fun sick twisted stories if you allow those three words to to be together i know they kind of contradict each other well the fun and then sick twisted i don't know if those really go together but Allow it to happen because I enjoy these. All right, you, you gotta you gotta go in with an open mind. Some of these get deep, 
but you still smile and, and like, what the hell's wrong with this Ira Rat dude? Really? <laughs> and also, come on, look at that a little nod to Andy Warhol, or if you're a uh, Velvet Underground fan, yeah. If you have the album, you know what I'm talking about. This is Pacifier. It's a collection of short stories, four stories in it. It's from Ira Rat, uh, Filthy Loot. I'll have links down below how you can pick it up. Uh, it may leave you scratching your head, only trying to figure out how the stories make you feel, really. And after talking to the dude who plays Ira Rat in real life, I think that's the way he wanted it. Yeah. He wouldn't have it any other way. Right? Pacifier. Well, that's going to do it, boys and girls. I appreciate you stopping by as always. Um, not sure if anything I said was coherent, but that's what you've come to uh, expect on this channel. All right? Uh, thank you. I uh, thank you very much. Until we meet again, stay safe. That's the way. I eat cookies. That's not the way it goes. You know. We'll just stop it there.